your soul will get set. One more day. Say, God has been pressing this so heavily on my heart. And we fail to recognize the signs and the commandments of the Lord. We take for granted for life. We take life for granted. Plan as you're walking up and down this two-lane highway to hell. Not heeding the one the signs of God. He just said this past. David slay Goliath Sunday. Amend your way. So saints, please understand give you one more day. Be great to get this thing right. To confess your sin. And come unto me, all who are weary and yet I'm humbled that God allowed me to come on this way just for your soul Wednesday. To say, well, the sweet the streets go for me inspiration and a prayer from the Lord. And as I told with God in prayer, in the name of Jesus, in the midnight hour, he says, if you love now, you will cry later. But if you cry now, you will laugh later. Zero tolerance, time for playing. I learned a long time ago. It's Grace King and my mother told me. You find what other people's life, it will get you hurt. But people think this thing is a game because of who it is that you know. So as I'm reading the word, I say, okay, Lord, what am I saying? What are you saying to me? What am I to tell the people? In the name of Jesus. In the great Babylon war, in the name of Jesus. How, how dare you have your dad? And you say, Lord, Lord, but everything that hollers, Lord, Lord, don't mean it got the love of God down out there. Because in the book of Revelation, it says five kings have fallen. There's seven of them, but five of them have already fallen. So I don't care who it is that you think that you're rocking with. I don't care who it is that you think that you know. The Bible says that you're walking up and down this two-lane highway to hell. Walking through a battle of the shadow of death. Fear not those who's able to kill your body but not able to kill your soul. If you kill by the sword, you'll die by the sword. We're reading the word that we, we fail. We just read the word. And we fail to understand his word shall not return unto him. In the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says what God gave me this week Walking up and down this two lane highway to hell with a pack of wolves, devil, and Satan. In the name of Jesus, how can you say that you love God when you have envy and hate against your sisters and brothers in Christ, whom you see every day? In the name of Jesus. He says, the Bible says, Satan. Has been loose for a certain a short time to make war against the saints. You don't have to fight no battle. In the name of Jesus. When the footsteps of a good man is over, God's word shall not return unto you void. He gave you one more day, wages for your soul Wednesday. And the reason being for wages for your soul Wednesday. Because on this day, Huh, the day that you take it for granted. You take a life but for granted because you think that you can make it. Oh, because my daddy this and my daddy that. But I know all. Lord of lords and kings of kings. Mm. Some people you fear the unknown. They fear life after death. And you never grasp the concept of the Bible saying he was in the world, and the world knew him not. Some of you even barely understand and have the faith to believe that 
that Jesus Christ walked in the flesh here on earth. So how dire you have the audacity to dabble in the things of the unknown. Your mind cannot even begin to fathom or comprehend. That's the reason why you're bottled down with anxiety. You're bottled down with depression. You're worried in the midnight hour with insomnia and you cannot sleep. <laughs> but the children of God God says, I'll give you rest unto your soul. This messed me up. This past weekend, I was up, falling outside. I love being outside. And dawn approached. And my spirit quick said, whoa, it's getting late. It's time to rest. Give your enemies a time to plot and scheme throughout the midnight. So on this day, I'm the wages for your soul Wednesday. In the name of Jesus, every death threat that has been sunk out throughout the midnight hour, who it is that you think that you know, it ceases and desist. It is canceled right now. In the very lie that you place out. But see what you fail to understand. It was a trying and testing of your faith to see whether or not how will you treat God's people. And since how you plotted and schemed. In the name of Jesus. When you did not give life. When you do not have the power. You say let there be. And I knew you before you was born to your mother's womb. And you killed by the sword. You'll die by the sword. There was a time. There was a trying and testing of your faith. And you got a lot of women in this bed. Down on their knees. In the midnight hour. Won't the husband. God is not going to give you. In the name of Jesus. And then he did give you the mate. The make from hell. The hell that you put here on earth, he matched you in. To to in the name of Jesus. To chasten your flesh. All because the Bible says you pray for those who spitefully use you. In the name of Jesus. So in other words, you meet your maker. And this messed me up. I'm not an argumentative type person, but I'm not perfect. I fall short of the glory of God. And I know you make me mad. I know you push me. And so I know there's some work that needs to be done in me. I cuss you out in a heartbeat. That's what I was doing out in the world. So I said, now, nah, Lord, I know it's still in me. So I, I take that before the altar. But the Bible says, the tongue no man can tame. And it's not a sin to get angry. But don't let the sun go down on your anger. You need to cast that thing down at God's feet before nightfall so that you can rest throughout the midnight hour. But it's a sin whenever you allow that anger to allow you to shed innocent blood. Innocent blood is crying out from the earth. And whenever you mess with a child of God, that was a trying to test of your face so that, you know what, God, um, he does not do it, but he'll take his hands off of you, and Satan will do it for to you. A lot of women that get mad because it was not going to be a man from the beginning. You apply this game, you use juju priests and witches and warlocks and the voodoo to try to get this man. And because he walks not circles and rings around you and, and drags you through the mud, now you want to make a bill home to say. But you fail to understand that was a trying testing of your faith to see what would you do with life. And but see, it says how you plot and you disguise evil against God's child. A child that you did not give life to. Now there's no mate for you here on this earth realm. And as I was praying throughout the men out, you know, we was all born into sin, a rebellious generation. And some of you slipped through the cracks. Some of you was not supposed to be here. But God going to allow a life to be designed for you, but you was tried and tested and you failed. So now there's no life for you here on this earth and time is running out. And that's the reason why Satan will prepare you with a lesson because you plotted with another female to try to come up against a child of God's life. So in other words, the forces of life and the spirit of God is Because you just fooled yourself out of a chance in life. 
In the name of Jesus, I glorify God. It's Jeremiah. I keep hearing Jeremiah 7. And three. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways of your doing, and I will cause you to dwell in this land. When you do not amend your ways, and your ways do not please not to God, he does not, he will not give you a life here because you, the wickedness of your heart, you ended your own life. So all them little plots and schemes, and the thing about it is, when people fail to understand, it's your own fault. How you mad at somebody because they're living their life, but they're not living their life according to how you want them to live. Oh, now you're ready to fight. No, fight yourself because you have no business. Bible says in the book of Kings, you are to live a blameless, peaceful, quiet life and mind your own business. Grace, them always used to tell me, you don't mess with people that is not messing with. And the Bible talks about that in the South Book of Psalms 35. Do not fight against those who are not fighting against you. They told me, Grace, big and thick and unsure. A quiet person, I'm Uncle Jimmy Dean now. You don't mess with them, you better leave them alone. Because if you back them up into a corner, they're going to come up out of it. And you, because you think you, your daddy in them, and you fail to understand, Abba is the ultimate dad. And the only thing, his child, the prayers of the righteousness prevail much. In the name of Jesus. By the scheme, you mad now because what you thought and was not was not ordained for you. No longer wants you. Now you want to shed blood. You did, you did not you did not get the understanding of Cain and Abel. Have you? I see you still not heeding the warning signs of life. And God says, "Innocent blood is crying out." You have blood on your hands. When you have blood on your hands, in the name of Jesus. Who shined the Lord? have no idea what it is that you are up against. And uh, in fighting against the unknown and the forces of darkness of life, God will take his hands off your life and allow Satan to sift you like me. So on this way is for your soul wisdom. Saints, please, let's understand the fact. He gave you one more day. And it says in the book of Jeremiah, 73 to amend your ways. Every death threat that's been sent out and ceases to exist and it's coming back and it's binding around your neck like a millstone. Now watch how you start binding up stuff. Because a lot of you've been binding up and now you can't move. You're complacent in your mind. You're stuck in your mind. You better watch how you use that word bind. You better watch how you go doors and gates you're walking through and who it is that you're connected to. As you're walking up and down this two-lane highway to hell, those signs in life, this world was designed for a purpose and everything in it. You're taking it for granted. That's what I heard in the midnight hour. And you're playing. Playing with other people's lives. It would get you hurt. And you fail to understand. You got some young, ignorant fools out here. Rocking with some old fools that think that they don't got away with some things. You didn't get away with it. It's just like in the book of Job. Say they waited. So all of them was gathered together. And he pulled the beam and one blow took them all out. And your little titan that you've been floating out. Is how you said your cruise ship has to make a sail. It started to sink. And a bunch of them is getting ready to drown. You better have your life jacket on. And make sure you know how to swim and float. But only what you do for Christ Jesus is going to last. So I decided a long time ago when I met King Jesus in 2000. God, I got my cross. And I decided 
the Father. I don't want nothing in this world as I follow. I know old wine cannot go into new wines. That's the reason why a lot of you got anxiety. Insomnia, and you're walking around here itching. God did not give his children a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of love, peace, and that of a sound mind. And the Holy Ghost boldness to fear not those who's able to kill your body, but not able to kill your soul. And the book of Psalms 91, that used to be my book when I first started praying. And I learned the power of the book of Psalms. I would all I would just sit there and I would read 35 and 91 over and over and over and over and over again until it sunk into my spirit. And Psalms 50. Until it sunk into my spirit. I don't have nothing to worry about in this life. I met I was looking at a woman who flatlined three times. I don't play with life. And your dead friend. <laughs> that's not that's just the anointing of God on their lives. Because they think they threatened to kill Jesus too. My Lord. As I was praying. A mother, I looked at my son in the spirit. It's a long road. It's going to be a long time. There's so much to learn. But your footsteps have been on it. And it's ordained by God. And it has the name of Jesus. But remember, say, on this way, this is where your soul is, say. What you don't do on this side, you will do it on the other side. And your little plots and schemes, it's only a gap. I don't care who it is that you think you know. And God led me over the song, I will go to Revelation 13. It says, The great Babylon whore, all of the kings of the land have drunk of her wine, has plotted and schemes, therefore, upon your, upon your children's pride to put fear in you. But the very deathbed that you have plotted. Failed on the thing. The word. You just committed suicide. Because you killed by the sword, you'll die by the sword. I heard in the spirit, it's a gathering that is past your past for the getting ready to go meet their maker. Judgment is in. The verdict is in, and you're found guilty. You're guilty in this place. You understand me? Who shunned it over? The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Y'all play, you play with these scriptures in the day. And they have power. The only thing you got to do is speak the word. Because God says his word shall not return unto him for Oh, the way is for your soul. In the name of Jesus, I praise you right now. I thank you all for such a time. Who shunned it, oh God? You said, let there be. You said I knew you before. We were formed in our mother's womb. And in these dark certain times and certain and certain fear that is running across this land. Let your light shine. Because you said we was all formed in darkness. But God, you said that you called us to be walking your image. And you gave life. So this light that you give us. God, don't let the blind guys continue to lead the blind guys. For you said that you called us for such a time as this to preach the gospel unto the poor, to open blind eyes, my Lord, so that the deaf can hear and that the mute may speak. In the name of Jesus, Father, nevertheless, Lord, not our will, but let thine will be done. For this day be the day that the Lord has made us. So worthy, Father. Help us to know how to lift your name up. Help us in the lost sheep know how to let go of the things of this world, God. That we'll take up our cross and we'll continue to follow you. In the name of Jesus, on this day, the day that the Lord has made. Amen, amen, amen. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. We don't have nothing to fear.